Hi everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Scrap and Lifeway and it is that time of month. It's time for the Gina Aaron's Design Team Project. So this month um, she gave us three different words that we could um, create by or use in our creation and I chose the word resolve. Resolve. I'm gonna I'm putting this big clip on here because I'm gonna use the back page and uh, this will keep everything out of my way. But we're gonna use the word resolve and I am going to get some paint out. Uh, this page has already been gessoed and I'm starting in the back of the book. I'm kinda I'm going to kinda go between back and front so that way um, my spine stays kind of intact because if you put everything all in front it kind of makes this all wonky here and yes that's my that should be my new year my new word for the year is wonky <laughs> but alright let me get my paint out and on my palette and let's get started okay first color I'm gonna put down here is tropical blue by Deco Art. Just put a little bit here on my palette. I don't know what it is about the color blue lately, but it seems everything I have been creating lately has had blue in it. So, I don't know. I'm a blue kind of girl, I guess. And I did, I don't know if I told you, yes, I did just sew the page. Just to give the paint something to grip onto. And I used the De La Rowney gesso. Alright, that keeps sneaking up on me here. I really love, this is just a makeup sponge, and I really love the texture that it leaves when, um, when I use it for painting or applying paint to a substrate and or canvas or paper. Now I'm going to start to lighten this up a little bit. I'm going to add some, um, what is this? Indian Turquoise by Americana. What I'm trying to create here is just a, a sky. And we all know that the sky is different colors of blue. Blend that in as much as I can. Get up there in those corners. So let me dry this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my sky kind of dry here. And I'm going to add some white. Oh. Awesome. to this I'm going to pull out this stencil it was gifted to me by um, Cindy Utter my partner in crime I swear I know I probably have way too much paint on this palette but that's alright it'll get used And I just want to put some dots in here. They're kind of like mini clouds, if you will. And 
there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's not perfect. I don't want it perfect. I do want this up close though to the spine. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That is just how I wanted it. Right, let's set my stencil over here. And now I'm going to dry it up. I'll be right back. Okay, this is nice and dry. And I cleaned my hands up a little bit. I'm going to move this over to the side. Because I'm going to start another color that's going to go onto that, but first I need to clean this space off because I want the colors to mix. Right. So I have a plain piece of white paper down here and I'm going to need some of this. this. I know I've got some yellow ochre here somewhere. Moon yellow, cat yellow, hmm. These look almost identical, don't they? Cad yellow, banana cream, okay. Pop that one in the uh, water and let's start with this has not been gessoed and this is just um, uh, watercolor paper all right so let's start by putting down some yellow really bright yellow Should have put something underneath this, but well, that's all right. Some of the color is coming off my pan here, but that's okay. See, it has a little bit of color. Does anyone know what I'm making yet? I made the sky, now I'm going to make something else. Hmm. I think I do want to bring that all the way down, just go over the top of it. to get so quiet but when I start to create sometimes I just get really quiet which for me is an odd thing because I'm usually not very quiet okay I like that so 
now I'm going to add, wait a minute, which one was the lighter one? Hmm. See, now it's making me think. Okay, yeah, this one. And I'm not going to change my sponge at all. liking how that whatever color is on this um, palette is coming off onto here. I guess that's a little bit of red and plus probably blue that's on here. I really like how that's adding texture to what I'm making here. some more of that. Maybe a little bit more yellow here. A darker yellow. some extra paint on there. Ooh, I'm loving this. I really like this a lot. All right, so then I'm going to add a little bit more of this. I'm just kind of playing with the colors. Till I get just that right variance of colors here. I'm liking that. Okay. Now, I have an idea for some mark making, but I need to find the right color, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have this all dried up, and what I have here is antique gold, but it doesn't look like it has any shimmer, so I think it almost, I like the way it's got a brown tint to it. So I'm going to put some of that down there. And again, I'm not going to change my um, sponge out. And 
And I'm going to grab Gina's new stencil that just came out and it is available in her Etsy shop right now and I will link that in the description below but if you haven't been able to tell by a lot of the artwork I've done lately I really love this stencil and I'm really loving the X's and I'm just going to X all over the place because that's what I want to do There's a method to my madness. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Put that up with the other one. I'm going to give this a dry and I'll be right back. Okay. I have this all dried up. And I think I'm going to add a little something something to this. I know I've got way too much paint on there, but that actually it's gesso, but I'm just going to get some water on there. Mm -hmm. I'll splatter it. The nice thing about using gesso instead of just white paint is the gesso um, tends to become a little bit more translucent and not quite so opaque. And I'm getting splatters all over my desk, but that's okay. that up a little bit. Yeah, let's clean this off because I decided to get paint all over it. And let's clean this up. All right, I'm going to give this a quick dry. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see here, I've kind of cut out a sun. Sorry, excuse the dog. So I'm just kind of tracing around it, and then I'm going to cut it out. Alright, I have gotten this all cut out, and this is going to go on here, like that. See, doesn't that look cool? I think it looks cool. I am going to use my ATG gun and I'm just going to get some glue on here. I should say some of this on here. A lot of times I'll use matte medium to uh, put things down but I just felt like a change. Yes, this thing is squeaky like my chair. Let me 
besides, this has just been sitting on my desk needing to be used. So if you have it, use it. And that's what I'm doing. Let's move my palette out of the way so we don't put this in the middle of the... Okay. Let's see here. I was trying to make sure that the adhesive is um, see how it kind of comes out on the corners there just trying to make sure that it's all concealed I'm going to bring this down just a little bit I can cut part of the bottom off if I need to I really don't need to. It came up fairly well. And then what I could do is after this is all dry, I can come back around and, you know, lift under here, put some wet glue to kind of get those down, but it turned out nice. I like that. Okay. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have taken some Liquitex Heavy Body um, Unbleached Titanium uh, Acrylic Paint and I just put it on here um, and really just with my finger just kind of smeared it and dried it. Um, this is a good skin tone, I thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from um, Gina's uh, stamp set um, 15, I'm going to take this one, put my stamp pad underneath it, lay that down, I'm going to take my black stays on. I'm going to ink this up. And let's put this right about right about there. Give it a good firm push. Oh yeah, look at that. Turned out perfect. Perfect. Okay, I'll put this away so I don't lose it. block away and I am going to dry this and cut it out and I'll be right back. Okay, this came out fabulous, didn't it? I love it. It's a little bit shiny. That's all right. Look at the detail on that stamp. You can see that. It's exquisite. Just exquisite. All right. I want to glue this down and I want to kind of center it in there.
So right about there, I think, is where I want you to go. The reason why I chose the fist is because the definition of the word resolve is firm determination. I have a couple of things I want to stick here that I am firmly determined about. <laughs> and this kind of represents that firm determination for me. So let me get a few things uh, to write with and I will be right back. Alright, I'm just going to start with a pencil and I'm just going to use my own handwriting. Okay. It's not perfect, but I don't want it to be perfect. So now I'm just going to go over it with this permanent marker. Resolve. And Seek truth Find compassion.
advocate. Lend. Lend support and show show love. come around here and detail this out. Okay. Start writing right here. Firm determination. Here we go. Actually, good grief. I always forget I have a zoom on this. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline this part of it here. With my Stabilo All that I was so kindly gifted by once again. <laughs> my fairy art mother. Yeah, that would be Cindy. You can't buy these um, in like a Michaels or a Joann's or anything like that. You have to get them in an art studio or an art, uh, a proper art store. And I have yet to find one of those here in Indianapolis. So if you know of one in the Indianapolis area, please be sure to leave it in the comments below because I would love to visit it. But these words on the petals of the sun 
are probably what I am very determined about in my life and things that I feel very strongly about. But they're wonderful things and that's why I thought that they would be awesome on a sunshine. And then what I'll do is I'll go around them with my um, water brush. see I'll just use this as I throw everything around here <laughs> and I just got this slightly damp because I don't want this line to be really um, wide or anything like that. I just want a nice outline so that it makes my petals kind of pop out of the page. See, that turned out nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just take your water brush and just kind of go along there and it activates the um, Stabilo All. See how it makes that pop? I think I'm going to go lightly around this as well. I'm not squeezing any water out of the pen itself. I'm letting the water in the brush do my work for me. go. That highlights that very well. Clean my brush off. See? All clean. Well, mostly. All clean. Put it away. Alright, I am going to dry this up. And then I'll be back. Alright, I think I'm going to do a little border around here. Just a doodle border. I'm 
going to take my over it like this this is a Posca paint pen and I think I will probably dry that up and go over it one more time because that is just not very bright is it I like that I like it a lot all right so there you have it resolve which is firm determination Seek truth, find compassion, be an advocate, lend support, and show love. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this journey for Gina Aaron's design team for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed my, um, my process and my uh, creation. And I hope it inspires you to do something creative. And last but, lot, last but not least, please remember, be nice. It's really not that hard. Bye-bye, everybody.